It goes for how much per night? 180,000 per night. 180,000 per night. Is this the master? This is the master's bedroom. Whoa. This is insane. So peaceful. I'm having like a quiet moment. It's so beautiful. I cannot believe it. What's the square meters on this one? 460. This is the farm at San Benito, a world-class resort tucked away in the lush greenery of Lipa, Batanga. Yellow is the color washed you down into another one she walks by. And this is not just an ordinary place, but the farm at San Benito has received numerous awards in the past few years for providing a very unique and special experience for its guests. And in the next three days, we're gonna find out why this resort is so exclusive. What is happening, Grias and Nates, Titos and Titas? You're watching Mom Judy. Join us as we explore the Philippines. Hi, Mochi. This is Mochi's third staycation. She is a traveling dog. She must be like us. She's in Ocampo. <laughs> yes, this is a Mochi's third staycation in the last six weeks. She went to Bale Alegria for her first staycation, and then she went to Rafa in Bataan. Okay, correction. She's been to four resorts, and that fourth one was Las Casas, Filipinas. And then now she's going to the farm, and we're super excited, and it's where wellness meets luxury. So visiting a wellness resort could not come at a better time for Nelvin and I because we are doing this 75 hard challenge which is hard that's why it's called hard and it requires you to be very disciplined we have to work out twice a day one indoor one outdoor we have to read 10 pages of a book each day drink a gallon of water every day for 75 days straight as for me I don't really know a lot about the farm but I know it's won a lot of awards and they have some really good restaurants. And I heard their restaurants are farm to table restaurants, so it must taste so good. I wonder if they have burrata. And the farm, guys, is located in Batangas, which is about two hours away right. from BGC. And today we are with Kuya Boy. How are you, Hi. Kuya? Now, Batangas is pretty big, and the city that we're headed to is called Lipa City, like uh, Dua. Lip Dua Lipa? Yeah, the singer. Yeah, the singer, Dua Lipa. Kuya Boy is gonna be uh, dropping us off and also picking us up. And uh, he gave us a really good price, uh, a total of 7,000 pesos. We're gonna go ahead and leave his name and his number down below. So if you guys are interested and you guys are around BGC and wanna head to Batangas or anywhere else, make sure to hit him up. So I love road trips. Back when we were in California, we would take local trips down south to Plum Springs or go up north to Santa Barbara. It's a nice little getaway. But road trips here in the Philippines are so different because two hours away and you're like in a whole different vibe. You feel like you're in a different country. It's crazy. So I'm really looking forward to this farm staycation. Uh, guys, we are now in the vicinity of Batangas. I was just talking to everybody about the location. All the places sound the same. You've got Bataan, you've got Batanes, you've got Batangas. It's so confusing. And then what's the other? What are the other ones, Sucks? Tagay, Tegi, Tagay Tai. Yeah. Teas. All the teas and all the bees. I gotta get familiar with all of these locations. How much? Like what? So usually when we go to resorts, it's like a hidden gem. Like you go on this street and it doesn't look like there'll be a paradise. You know, it doesn't look like there'd be a hidden gem, like a resort there. Yeah, Nia's right. Most of these resorts that we've been to near Manila are really tucked away into these little hidden oasis. Whoa, talk about being tucked away. Yeah. I would have never found this place. So green and shady. Hello, Kuya. A check-in po? Andero po tayo. O campo. Drop off lang. Yes. Hi, Mochi. Get your party real quick. Bye, Kuya. I'll see you uh, Friday. Thank you, Kuya. It is 
so green and I literally saw peacock when you were coming up here. I'm like, are there just peacocks roaming around here? Pardon the interruption, before we check in, I just wanna shout out a massive, massive thank you to everyone who signed up for our very first mommy event. It took less than 24 hours to reach full capacity, I'm so excited. I'm honestly just over the moon with all of the love and support that we received. Having said that, we hate the idea of leaving anyone out. You guys know this, so we've decided to reopen registration. We're starting a waiting list while we hunt for a bigger venue to fit all of you amazing moms. And if you miss out this time around, no worries. You'll be the first in line for our next mom duty event coming this fall, which will be open to all families, including dads and kids. Also, just a little reminder, for this upcoming mom event, this is strictly for moms and only moms, one email equals one entry. So if you're planning to bring another mom along, make sure they sign up with their own email. Once again, thank you so much for all of your support. We're super excited to see you on May 11th. Now back to the farm. We're about to check in. It is 12 o'clock and I think we caught the rush here. I'm checking in. I just gave them the passports to the kids. Now we get to relax in nature. You already feel like you're in nature just by coming in. I mean, so much greenery, there's fountains, there's animals. Ah, so peaceful. Ooh, is this a vodka drink? <laughs> no alcohol, right? Okay. <laughs> coconut water with blue eternity. Oh, wow. Okay, this is coconut water with blue eternity flower. It's a light hint of bluish, purplish color. Ah, so refreshing. So mabuhay. Good afternoon and welcome to the farm. My uh -huh. name is Janina and I will be your service assistant for today. Alright, we are doing a quick orientation here with Joy. So we are here at the reception area. Uh -huh. And at the right side of the reception, we have three restaurants. The first one is Alive, which offers vegan food. At the back of this is Prana for Indian vegetarian food. Best for seafood Mediterranean. Do they serve meat here or is it just fish? Just no fish? meat. No meat. Yeah, so fish. Definitely. Vegetarian. Okay. Yeah. Then we also have newly opened restaurant here at the farm. It is called the Upper Deck. Mm. The difference there we offer chicken. Chicken. Chicken, okay. okay. <laughs> Delicioso. At the front of reception, we have the holistic sanctuary for the medical. Then just straight ahead here, we have the pure energy gym. This is at the front of the healing sanctuary for the spa treatments. Aside of that, we have amphitheater for the activities like sound healing and yoga. This is at the front of mango tree, which is 300 years old already. Oh, wow, a 300 year old mango tree? <laughs> this is at the side of the big lagoon, so you can go there for the sightseeing. Uh, aside of that, we have four common pools here at the farm. The first one is the infinity pool. This mm -hmm. operates until 10 p.m. But unfortunately, kids are not allowed here okay. since this place is for the spa treatments. Okay? So we have secret garden. Uh, there is a man-made waterfall pool. Oh, so okay. I just told <laughs> the secret. <laughs> then uh. we have here the south pool. This operates of after breakfast and before dinner. And where's our um, room? Your villa is located right here. So all of this is the garden villas. And um, how big is this whole resort? Uh, this resort is 60 plus hectares already. Oh wow. Before it's just 52 hectares. But um, occupied is just 16 hectares. 16 hectares. Yeah. 16. Mm -hmm. And then how many villas and are... It's about 60. 60, 60 villas. Got it. These are villas, yes. Uh, this is called Nora Villas. Oh, <laughs> wow. Now there is an extra cost for mochi here. <laughs> so our pet, uh, pet charge is 2000 plus plus every night. So today is Wednesday. Then you'll be staying with us until April 12th, right? Yes, yes. So all of this activities here is complimentary for you. Wow. Just take note that we have to do a reservation with some of activities, including the mandala flower. For a sound healing activity, just uh, go there ahead of time to secure your 
reservation. And also this living food prep class. Uh, it's about making drinks and food. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Yeah, we have two and a half hours. Yeah. So our room won't be ready until two o'clock, and it's about twelve thirty right now. So we have our complimentary assessment with our medical. It's Ooh. either health assessment or nutritional assessment. What do they tell tell you? Like all the bad stuff. <laughs> She's whispering something. Doesn't sound good. <laughs> She's taking way too long. Yeah, I know. Oh no! Oh, no. oh god! Oh, come on, darling. Oh, I mean, oh. wait, wait, wait. I'll tell you if it's bad. Oh. Now, what's gonna happen with me is that they're gonna find a lot of stuff wrong with me. So they're gonna recommend the treatment of staying here for a month, just by myself, though. <laughs> <laughs> Do you pay extra for the assessments? Uh, no, man. It is complimentary. That is awesome. I've never been to a resort that does that. Okay. Uh, this is exciting. We prioritize the health of our guests. I feel healthy already and I haven't done anything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. When can we do that? For yeah. tomorrow. Maybe after lunch because our morning is going to be busy with after the after breakfast mm -hmm. and then the arrangement. So maybe after lunch. So for now, we can proceed to the line. To line. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, so we just finished with orientation and now we're going to go to Alive, which is one of their restaurants. Ah, so peaceful and tranquil here. I love it. Oh, 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 look at this nice menu. One menu for you. This is my heaven. Y'all don't even know. I, I don't know how to cook or make any of these uh, healthy dishes and they have two menus full of them that sound really good. Have you guys ever tried vegetarian pizza or vegetarian burger? Thank you. Thank you. Coconut, uh, plastic crackers in coconut and carrot. Wow, okay. Black seed away. Mmm, mmm, oh my god. I love seeds, I love nuts, I love mango, I love salsa. Very good. I feel healthy already. <laughs> Look at this superfood green shake. Mmm, that's so good. I can taste more of the um, banana and the mango in here. Hopefully by the time I leave here on Friday, which is three days from now, I'll feel like 10 years younger. Wow. Can I have the mango? Uh, um, here you go. Good. Here you go. So good. Try. I think everything we're gonna eat here, whether it's like unhealthy or healthy, we're just gonna say it's healthy. Oh my goodness, so healthy. Who ordered the French fries? <laughs> Out of all the things yeah. on the menu. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys why it's healthy. So most French fries, when you go to fast foods or other restaurants, it's more greasy. But if you see this one, it doesn't have like a glare of grease. Like right. if you squeeze it, there's no grease coming You're out. Right. So when you look at your fingers, there's no grease. Oh my gosh, can I tell you what's in this? Whole wheat pesto pasta with basil, pesto sauce, walnut, pili nut, and parmesan flakes. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Is this good for me? <laughs> and I see chunks of avocado and broccoli and zucchini. Galing, galing. Everybody needs to taste this. Guys, I have a problem. I'm full already from the fries and the mango. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that looks so good. Whoa, Nina. I got a vegan beef patty with mashed potatoes, green beans. I got the plant based burger. It looks amazing, but the meat looks a little bit uh, funky. It looks like the tomato. It looks good, so I'm excited to try this. I got the same thing as Knox the plant based hamburger. Look at this. This looks delicious. But the thing is, I ate some of those fries the crackers and I finished my super food drink. I'm full already. We still have the cauliflower bite. Oh my goodness. And we have the cauliflower bite. Let me taste test for you guys. Please be hot. Please be hot. Like spicy hot. Like it's sweet. Mm, it's sweet. It's like sweet tangy sauce. Very, very delicious though. It's a little fried, like tiny, tiny bit. Like tempura. Gives it a really fun texture. The beef patty tastes like a vegetable. <laughs> it's not what I expected. 
Okay. It's not My an favorite actual part of this um, meal was the french fries. That wasn't even part of the meal. And the mashed potato. The smell of pesto is enticing me to swallow this bowl. It's the lightest pesto sauce ever. I almost told the waitress light on the sauce because sometimes too much pesto just takes over the taste. But this is very light. Like I won't feel very full after I eat it. And it just has the right amount of veggies in it. And just the pasta is very doughy. I really like the ambiance of this restaurant. You got large windows, a lot of light coming in. Very nice and the scenery from the outside is great. You got a peacock right next to me right now. And then uh, just very green. That's very good. It does taste like very um, veggie-like. Too healthy. It smells like an actual burger. First time trying a plant-based burger. Right? Like Nia and Dad said, you can tell it's like um, plant, but it catches you off guard. It kind of tastes like lettuce, tomato, just everything combined together. I mean, just imagine a lot of the main vegetables combined together. That's what it tastes like. But it's really good. Yeah, it's definitely really good. It tastes very fresh. I like it. Okay, we definitely order too much because we don't even have room for dessert. So hopefully tonight we can make up for that. Now we're gonna check out and go check out our room. Let's go. So right next to the reception area is a little convenience store where they sell pasta lubongs, like uh, dark chocolate, some banana chips, and also they've got some clothes. So if you forgot to bring some of your clothing, you can purchase some here. Okay, Mochi, you've been in a jeepney. Now you're gonna go on a golf cart. Next thing on the list is a motorcycle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're okay. moving now. Said I do it different, and you like that? Did you say welcome to the place with a lot of trees? Yeah, yeah. I welcome love it. To the place of a lot of trees. Paradise <laughs> here. Is at the farm at San Benito. Look at the white peacock. We have a white, oh, white peacock. peacock. Oh, white peacock. This is definitely the resort with a lot of trees. I don't want to show you guys the villa yet because at 3 o'clock we have to go to a um, chef food prep class yes. so right after that we'll go ahead and give you guys a proper villa tour so guys enjoy for the next five minutes yeah and now we gotta go and by the way guys this is Grayson Hello, welcome to the farm if ever we need anything he is the guy to call he is our special concierge I like ambassador better yeah, ambassador. he's ambassador yeah. guys okay <laughs> what, what's your nationality Filipino you look mestizo yeah Ay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> half Filipino half foggy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it Maraming salamat. Yeah, I thought you're half something no yes. half Bisaya half Tagalog. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, Grayson, Thank you're you. the best. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye, Mochi. Well, look at, well, look at her. Bye bye, Mochi. Okay, guys, did you know that Lipa City is the third coldest city in the Philippines? Did you know that? Other than Baguio, Baguio is the first one, the second one's Tagaytay, the third one is Lipa City here. <laughs> okay, we made it just right on time. Well, about a minute late. <laughs> so when we came in, we weren't sure what they were making, but they were making nut cheese with cashews. So they had soaked in the cashews in water, then they put them in a blender, blended them all in, and made a nut cheese dip. So this looks like hummus, but it's the nut cheese that he was making. This bread is nice for bread. Mmm. Does it taste like nacho cheese? It kind of does. <laughs> but yeah, see? It kind of does, but lighter. Exactly what Nia said. It feels like a healthy version of Doritos. Like a really, really healthy version. That was really good. That's a 10 out of 10 for sure. Now the question is, do you feel healthier? 
I feel healthier. Now the question is if I eat like a bag of flaxseed crackers, would that still make it healthy? Elmer, Elmer, Chef Elmer. That was excellent. Did you invent the black seed crackers? My team, actually. Oh, your team. It was delicious. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Who knew it would fly by the days and the good nights? I don't know what I'll do without you. Mr. Grayson, how are you? How are you? We're good. All right. How are we doing back there? I'm <laughs> Guys, hold on tight. Grayson is taking us through the jungle. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. Oh, this is all part of the property? Yeah. Look at that hanging. My goodness. Now, unfortunately, even though this uh, resort is all about peace and quiet, when you have two kids, <laughs> it's never peace and quiet. <laughs> the times, cause it's not all black and white. I'll change all in the name of love. This is our helipad place. Helipad. Oh, for mom duty helicopter. When we uh, have our helicopter, that's where we would land. With the lightning bolt? Yes. yes. Ooh. My goodness. Nice farm. Wow. Now, not only do we get to come see the farm, but the kids get to be farmers themselves. They're going to try and plant some celery. I love how you can see the beautiful mountains with the palm trees in the back. You're at the very top of a hill with all of these veggies, getting like fresh air, fresh water. So we have eggplants, we have broccoli, and we have lettuce. Wow, they have got a lot of veggies growing here. They've got onion, tomato, chives, Japanese lettuce, they've got pineapple. And what was the other fruit they had besides pineapple? Oh, banana. Banana, yeah. You can taste the freshness when you eat here. We've only eaten one meal so far. I can't wait for dinner. All of this uh, food and veggies and snack talking is making me hungry. How was the farm so far? It's so nice. Yeah, so I love the playground area. <laughs> The yoga area. The yoga. Also, Grayson was mentioning that during the pandemic that the owner back then of the farm was overflowing this place with veggies. That the restaurant had way more than it needed and so he was giving vegetables out to all the locals here. If you could grow one crop, what would it be? Probably onions and cilantro. So I can put the little cilantro on my tacos because you know I'm Mexican. <laughs> I'll do strawberries, blackberries, bananas, celery, and potatoes. Oh, wait, I'm changing mine. And set, uh, it's dragon fruit, mango, potato. We are leaving the veggie station and heading to the pineapple area. What? They do all of the farming there. Is that we've papaya? Got, we've got papaya. okra. Cool. And papaya. And papaya. This is like a mix of Hawaii because of the pineapple right behind me and you got Bali. Is that spider has that like that Whoa. touch of Bali. You got thousands and thousands of palm trees. Like never ending. So FYI guys, the farm was acquired in 2018 by CG Hospitality, which is a multinational conglomerate and they are from Nepal. Have you been to Nepal, Grayson? Not yet. Let's go. Take Let's you go. My, I'll take you in my helicopter. <laughs> yeah. How many peacocks do you guys have? 30. Yeah. 30 peacocks here and they were imported from India. Wow. Whoa. Look at this. Look at these villas, guys. So these are the Hasha uh, villas. This is part of our timeshare property. So you're going to purchase one of the property or buy one of the property and you are part of the property for 99 years. Are these all furnished? Yes. This is absolutely gorgeous. I always check if that is open. So oh, that is open we get to see well, if this is open. If it's open, we get to kind of tour this villa. Okay, it's not prepared, but we can go Whoa. ahead and check it out. It has 4.5 bedrooms. Oh. Come in. Is it? It's it's not it's not done yet. Uh, yes. Yeah. Wow. Oh, this is 
is my room. Where are you? Oh my gosh, this is my room. So funny. Oh, that's your for your tattoos. Yeah. So it's four and a half bedrooms. Bedroom. Yes, it is a half. Twin bedroom. Oh. Um, we are you, yeah, we they have are. like two, three, four. Is this the master? This is the master's bedroom. Wow. So this is like Bali now. <laughs> Whoa. This is insane. <gasps> Holy smokesy. It's so peaceful. I'm having like a quiet moment. It's so beautiful. I cannot believe it. So you can fit about eight people in here because two, two, and then two and two. And then down to uh, four and a half. What's the square meters on this one? 460. 460. 460? <gasps> That's big. I like this master bedroom. Me too. It's got like its own little living room. Yes. Let's, let's, let's see the bathroom. Wow. Wow. This is what you need in there. I know. You can fix it, you know? I know. This is what I need. But <laughs> the toilet is open like Two that. toilets. Yes. Wait, look at this. Right next One to each other. and you two. Like I like that. You can say hi to each other. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Look, he's going to hurt us. Beautiful. <laughs> Let's see the bottom floor here. Wow. Who had their one week time chart? Uh, you have 30 days per year. 30 days per year? That's a lot. Wow. So you can actually rent these villas out and they go for like for this particular villa, it goes for how much per night? 180,000 per night. 180,000 per night, but it's well worth it if you divide it amongst 20 people. <laughs> so all the bedrooms are upstairs and you got a bathroom down here. Huh? Beautiful spot. Where's Naki? Oh, Naki is gone. <laughs> They're still playing hide and seek. You can rent this out 180,000 per night. 3,000 you want. And if you want to purchase it for 99 years and you get 30 days, it's a hundred million. It's worth it. Wow, wow, we 99 years. <laughs> it's funny we we just gave a quick tour of the the this villa right here, but we haven't given you guys a tour of our glass. What is it called? Garden glass. Villa. Villa. 